Hey everyone, and welcome to another Solid Shell security video. What we are going to be doing is setting up and explaining how to use a WAM server. Uh, for those of you who do not know what a WAMP server is, basically it's just an abbreviation for like Apache, MySQL, PHP, and the W just stands for Windows. So it's a Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP server. It's pretty much all the services all bundled together into one easy to use setup package. So what we're going to go and do is just go ahead and grab the 64-bit um, with PHP and Apache 2.4. You may have to actually download the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 package. I will give you that option, which I already and downloaded and installed it so I can now run this. There's many, many different uh, versions of WAMP. It's basically an abbreviation, so it's not going to be just one system that's, there's only going to be like one WAMP server setup whatever you want to call it, but it's going to be many different ones. I mean, if you do a search on WAMP, um, there's there's a great deal of different services that you can just install like this one. I just grabbed the first one on the Google list, which is one of the um, oldest ones, actually. So I've used it in the past, and I've also used it for like businesses and and things like that that want to have access to a development without having to like configure and install like IIS um, and you know just setting up an entire server so it's great for development and also for like maybe hosting an internal website or something with really easy maintenance because there's really not too much to it I mean it's, it's really really easy so what happens in, with this version is it installs as a service so you know if we right click it we've got some options if we left click it we have the ability to start all the services stop research we're just going to install um, start everything to bring everything online uh, we have access to the Apache configuration so we've got the Apache config we've got alias directories we've got the modules so it's a quick and easy click to install uninstall modules, you know, we have the control of the service, you know, we can also choose additional versions. So it's a really nice way to set everything up and keep it um, maintained. And we got the exact same capabilities with, you know, PHP here. You know, it's really simple, great for development. Um, in a business environment, it's actually not bad either because it's pretty easy to do. I mean, it, it's you saw how quickly I installed it. So let's just go ahead and bring up localhost and it brings up a nice splash page and we'll bring up PHP my admin just to show that off. And so it's even got the PHP my admin, you know, built in. So it's really a quick and fast, simple way just to do local development. And because it's Apache, it's really easy to, you know, move the, the site off from development onto an actual Linux server that's running Apache and PHP. So there's really not too much that you have to really worry about. It's a pretty simple, you know, move, what do you want to call it? Really, really great. So, all in all, I would say using a WAMP server is not bad. Uh, there's many different versions, well not versions, but different um uh, different WAMP services out there that you can download and install. This is just one of them. So really, configuration is really easy. I mean, it's got the MySQL here, and we've got the same capability. Um, the one thing I do want to make note is if you want to have the thing come up on a reboot, you want to make sure you do the install service. Now, you have to also you know, want to probably shut everything off so you can actually install the services. But if you do want the thing to, in fact, um, start up, you're going to want to definitely make sure you bring the service and basically install the service. And what it's going to do is it's going to install the services so on a reboot, everything comes back online. You want to make sure you do that, especially if you're setting up for like a business or something and you're going to be using this as like the actual main server, you know, to host uh, an internal website or something so you definitely want to make sure you do that but other than that that it's all there really is to it 
I mean, WAMP is that simple, that easy to really install. And I believe for like MySQL, it is a default, you have blank password on root. So logging into um, PHP MyAdmin, PHP is pretty simple. I mean, if you want, it pretty much installs the PHP service. So you can also do, um, I believe, command line on it. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe, yep, you can. There we go. So you do have the capability of actually doing full out um, MySQL commands if you really wanted to, you know, do, you know, MySQL command line interface. So you actually do have the capability of doing that. So it's really an all-in-one installation, really nice, quick and easy. Definitely something you may want to actually consider using for whatever purpose, like development or you know, just getting a web page up quick and fast. Okay, so that concludes this video on setting up WAMP. Hope it's been a, a good one. Be sure to like us, follow us on Facebook, and all the other social network sites, and every time you do, a kitten gets some catnip. Thanks for watching, guys.